Welcome back, my friends. Have you ever asked yourself, will autonomous driving ever work? Tesla is valued at over $827 billion, but Musk suggested he had little insight into what drove stock prices up or down. Musk has said for several years that Tesla is close to solving autonomous driving. But, so far, autonomous driving has been a work in progress, especially for Tesla. And it has not been without its serious problems. If you recall from last year, a major class action lawsuit was just filed against Tesla because of untrue claims related to Tesla's autopilot system. The lawsuit filed today alleges that Tesla has yet to produce a fully self-driving car. And it is not clear whether they ever will. Tesla sells its autopilot as a very expensive option on its electric vehicles. But Tesla owners have not received what they think they paid for. And their Tesla vehicles are aging. Any observer of self-driving car developments could have predicted that this day would come. So what happens next? What does it mean for Tesla? What does it mean for the future of transportation? What does it mean for the US economy? And, what does it mean for the future of the United States? But, before we get into that, please hit the like button. Please leave us a comment below, we would love to hear from you. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos. And, before we continue, a word from the sponsor of this video. Today's sponsor is InnerLife.com, creator of the InnerLife STS system. InnerLife STS is a cloud mobile platform for mental health care and its integration with primary medical care. InnerLife STS is designed for assessment, data collection and analytics, documentation, and progress tracking. InnerLife STS creates and composes conceptualized narratives and builds them into professional-grade reports. These reports are designed for use by mental health professionals, primary care physicians, justice system professionals and universities and include mental health assessment reports, mental health treatment reports, and treatment progress reports. And InnerLife STS uses doctor-selected pseudonames for all patients. So, only the healthcare professional knows the patient identity. Elon Musk says Tesla's market cap is directly tied to whether it solves autonomous driving. Tesla CEO Elon Musk thinks the automaker's market capitalization is directly tied to whether the automaker is able to solve autonomous driving, the billionaire told LVMH scion Antoine Arnault on Friday. Musk was speaking at Paris's Viva Tech Innovation Conference. The younger Arnault ribbed Musk about Tesla's $827 billion market cap, noting it dwarfed the storied luxury conglomerate's valuation. The Tesla CEO responded and suggested he had little insight into stock price movements. Valuations are a strange thing, Musk said. Sometimes I've said, hey, I think the stock price is too high at Tesla, and then the stock price goes up. I'm like, okay. But Musk also suggested Tesla's market cap was tied to whether the company could perfect autonomous driving technology. Really the value of the company is primarily on the basis of autonomy, Musk said. If you look at our total vehicle output, it's almost 2 million vehicles this year or something like that. But that's still only 2% of total vehicle production. The potential for autonomy is that the value of autonomy is so high, that even if you have a discount, a percentage probability of autonomy happening, that is so incredibly valuable, the CEO continued. He also reiterated the idea of Tesla owners turning their vehicles into a fleet of self-driving robotaxis, an idea that he once said would be implemented by 2020. Musk has said for several years that Tesla is close to solving autonomous driving, but the company's cars still only provide advanced driver assistance features. Autonomous driving, also known as self-driving or driverless technology, refers to vehicles that are capable of operating and navigating without human input or intervention. These vehicles use a combination of advanced sensors, artificial intelligence, eye, and sophisticated algorithms to perceive and interpret the surrounding environment, make decisions, and control the vehicle's movements. Autonomous driving systems typically incorporate a variety of sensors, including cameras, radar, litter, light detection and ranging, and GPS, to gather information about the vehicle's surroundings. These sensors continuously collect data, such as road conditions, traffic signs, lane markings, other vehicles, pedestrians, and obstacles. The collected sensor data is then processed by the onboard computer system, which utilizes AI algorithms and machine learning techniques to analyze and interpret the information. This enables the vehicle to understand its environment, predict potential obstacles or hazards, and make decisions on how to navigate and interact with the surroundings. 
The control system of an autonomous vehicle consists of actuators that manipulate the vehicle's acceleration, braking, and steering. Based on the analyzed sensor data and AI-driven decision-making, the control system sends commands to these actuators to execute the appropriate actions, such as accelerating, decelerating, changing lanes, or making turns. Autonomous driving technology can be classified into different levels, as defined by the Society of Automotive Engineers, say. These levels range from level O, no automation, to level 5, full automation. At higher levels, vehicles are capable of performing more complex driving tasks without human intervention. It's important to note that despite significant progress, fully autonomous vehicles are still in the testing and development phase. Various technical, regulatory, and ethical challenges need to be addressed before they can be deployed at a large scale. Additionally, legal frameworks and public acceptance are important factors in the widespread adoption of autonomous driving technology. But here are some of the various mixed headlines from recent months. But here are some of the mixed headlines from recently. Mercedes-Benz beats Tesla to win California approval of automated driving tech. Authorization allows use of the hands-free drive pilot system, with some caveats. A Waymo self-driving car killed a dog. The accident in San Francisco was unavoidable, according to the company's report. Jeep developing SUVs that can drive themselves off-road. It's testing the technology in a Grand Cherokee. Waymo. Uber set aside past Rift over tech to team up on robotaxis in Phoenix. Five years after the two companies spent millions battling each other in court. US charges ex-Apple engineer with stealing self-driving car secrets for China. A search of his home turned up large quantities of data from Apple. Waymo Robotaxis expand operations in Phoenix, San Francisco. Company is doubling the area in Phoenix where it picks up paying passengers. 2023 Ford Lincoln Blue Cruise 1.2 Video Review, Catching Up Quickly. Ford is still behind GM and Tesla, but the latest updates are promising. Waymo driverless car goes viral after police officer directed it to pull over. We're sorry, this car won't let us move. Jurors in lawsuits say Tesla never claimed autopilot to be a self-pilot. Plaintiff should have been paying attention, they say in rejecting her claim. Waymo vehicles pull over in San Francisco due to fog. We have software updates planned to improve our fog and parking performance. Cruise fender bender with San Francisco City bus leads to software update. Says rare software issue concerns unique movements of articulated vehicles. GM Cruise wants to test self-driving vehicles across California. Seeks to branch out beyond San Francisco. Well, you get the idea. Autonomous driving still has a way to go before being ready for prime time. And, if you recall, law firm Kochet, Petra and McCarthy has now filed a new landmark class action lawsuit against Tesla. The lawsuit alleges that Tesla misled the public and its customers about Tesla Autopilot, Enhanced Autopilot, and its full self-driving capability. Many Tesla consumers pay additional thousands of dollars to make their new Tesla self-driving. The lawsuit is intended to represent the entire group of customers who purchased a Tesla automobile with autopilot technology. The complaint alleges, since at least 2016, Tesla has misleadingly and deceptively marketed its supposed autopilot and full self-driving technology as either already fully functional or just around the corner. In October 2016, Tesla published a video on its website in that claims to show a Tesla car driving itself. People have suffered fatal and other serious injuries as a result of the Tesla's autopilot, said the text of the lawsuit. The California Department of Motor Vehicles also accused misleading claims autopilot and full self-driving technology. The California DMV is threatening to suspend or revoke Tesla's vehicle dealer and manufacturing licenses. The California DMV may also require Tesla to pay restitution. The lawsuit filed today alleges that Tesla has yet to produce a fully self-driving car. Tesla owners receiving the latest updates to Tesla's autopilot software and FSD beta software have reported myriad problems. Tesla vehicles are having difficulty making normal turns. Cars are running red lights. They are also driving into oncoming traffic. There have been a number of collisions involving Tesla's autopilot software. For example, Tesla vehicles have crashed at high speeds into large stationary objects like emergency vehicles and a stationary box truck. The complaint also alleges, federal regulatory investigations it has become increasingly clear that Tesla knew all along that their years of statements regarding their autopilot and FSD technology were deceptive and misleading.
that they made the statements anyway to hype the company's vehicles and technology, continued the complaint. As well as to increase sales, and establish Tesla as a dominant player in the electric vehicle market, the complaint added. With Tesla's approach of selling features that it has yet to fully develop and missing several timelines relating to them, it was inevitable that the company would eventually face some legal repercussions, the complaint also noted. But government investigations still have not found defects in Tesla the autopilot system. At a minimum, Tesla will probably be ordered offer refunds to anyone who bought full self-driving if desired. What do you think? Please hit the like button. Please leave us a comment below, we would love to hear from you. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos. Please share this video on social media. Thank you for watching.